Solutions Editor at Nature Biotechnology. She has been chairing the Public Perception and Education Panel. Uh, Dr. Melton, thanks for joining us at the GAP Summit. So could you highlight out what were some of the key issues that came through in the Public Perception and Education Panel? I'd say that the key issue is that there is a quite a difference between the perception of red and green biotechnology, like people call it. So when, um, when it's about a therapeutic, uh, cancer therapy, stem cell therapy, a gene therapy that provides a value to, to society that is uh, unequivocal, there doesn't seem to be much uh, uh, need even for understanding the underlying technology. Mm -hmm. Whereas when it comes to crops possibly and food where the consumer doesn't see the benefits themselves as clearly because it's mainly geared towards uh, farmers, um, it's difficult to see the, the uh, of course, the value which will be gained eventually by being able to produce more food. We will obviously need that, but right now this doesn't appear to be as clear uh, to consumers. And here is where possibly information uh, would play a, uh, um, and perception uh, where the gap is, is uh, bigger. Um, yeah. um, this is a big issue, like you said, this, this uh, dichotomy between red and green biotech. And it, it's quite a big issue to think about. And, uh, especially for the leaders of tomorrow in the conference, they're probably thinking, how are we going to address this? You know, how can we actively create projects to have a better communication of biotechnology? So, uh, what would your advice be to these leaders of tomorrow? How can they be uh, addressing this issue? From what I've been hearing yesterday and today, Leaders of tomorrow, the leaders of tomorrow who are sitting in that room are so well informed about science. So my, what I urged them towards the end was to be engaged. These issues will crop up, the gaps will open up and they will close again at different frequencies. And be engaged, use social media, you, uh, tweet, blog, uh, this is the way to get the information out, for, especially for, for your generation. I'm sure the people who will be listening to you online will also be tweeting and vlogging as they see this. Um, and my last question to you, Lisa, is how has your experience been? You've been at the GAP Summit these two days. What's your experience been so far? Do you see there's a need for it? Um, yes, how, how have you felt being here? Well, you as organizers have done a great job in bringing together on the the banner of the GAP Summit, the innovators, those who fund the innovation, the, the investors, and those who develop it, which uh, is industry. And bringing all of the, the biotech components, or we'll say all the, the ecosystem under one roof is priceless. So do it again. Thank you, Lisa, and uh, uh, thanks for coming to the summit and uh, joining us for this interview. It's been a pleasure, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.